All right. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks so much for hopping on, girl. I appreciate it. I know it's well. It's early over here. I'm on the I'm on the uh, West Coast, and it's like 8:30. Actually, I'm having a late start. Um, my husband was saging this morning, and uh, <laughs> he set off the alarms, the smoke alarms, at six in the morning. He's choking me out with all of this sage scent. And my dog was having a fit. And so I thought, well, let me just, you know, since he interrupted my sleep, let me just um, sleep a little bit longer. <laughs> so I did. But oh, my God, I got such a full day today. Um, I have to do some Facebook ads for our nonprofit. And luckily, he's out. So I can get a lot more done when he's not here. And uh, then I have some Facebook ads that I need to run for my business. And I got a blog post. And I got a project that I'm working on. So I got a lot to do this Saturday, um, which I don't mind because I really enjoy it. But I really just wanted to get on here real, really quick and just talk about are you expanding your network? So let me see if I can see anybody else here. Let me know if you can still hear me. Oh, yes, you can. Okay. I got to get a better place to have my so I can see my comments. So anywho, I want to also, if you're watching the replay, let me also know that you are put pound replay and let me know where you're watching from as well. So I wanted to talk about, are you expanding your network? Um, I see a lot of network marketers, um, especially the new ones that get on and they start promoting their business immediately after they, you know, sign up, they get excited and they start trying to promote on their profile page, which is really a no, no. It's really against um, Facebook's uh, terms of service to market your business on your profile page. Um, so that's one thing. And I noticed that when you do start to expand your network, you want to optimize your Facebook page. And I'm, I'm talking specifically about Facebook. That's where, our, where I market. But also, it's going to be any social media platform, right, that you're on. You want to make sure that for one, and I'm going to try and make this really quick so I don't keep you guys. Um, one, you want to make sure that you have a profile picture of you smiling, right? Not your pet, not your, you know, your bird or your husband or your, your wife or your child or a picture of a plant. It needs to be a picture of you and um, preferably not a selfie. If you can just get someone to take you, know, if you can't do professional pictures, get someone to take a picture of you uh, smiling and put it on your profile page. Your cover photo, you can have anything you want, right? Um, another thing that you don't want to have is uh, information about your, your network marketing company. You don't want to say, oh, I'm a presenter for such and such company or I'm a direct distributor for such and such company. You want to say, you want to take all of that off and talk about being a business owner because that's what you are when you enter the network marketing space. You, you don't want to think of yourself as just a distributor for a company that basically it's, you almost make it seem like you're working for the company when in actuality they're just providing the product and you're slapping your label on it and selling it as your own. So you want to present yourself so that when people come to your profile page, you want to present yourself professionally as a, a business owner or entrepreneur. And there's spaces on your Facebook profile, which I'm, you know, I can't show you, I'm not going to go through here, but where you can um, indicate that you are in business. You want to let people know that, yes, you are in business, but you want them asking you what you do. You don't want them knowing that you're, say, in Mary Kay, you know, because people are going to say, oh, she's in Mary Kay, so is everybody else I know, or she's in Avon, whatever. Um, you want them to be curious to see what it is that you do and maybe reach out to you. So once you have that all taken care of, then you can go out and expand your network, and you want to max out your friend um, list. You get 5,000 on your profile. You want to max that out if you can. You want that to be your goal, and you don't want it to be um, just your friends and family and people in your network marketing business. Uh, a lot of people will start, you know, marketing, and all the only people that are responding are the people in their company or their friends and family. Most people are ignoring your post, and when when you don't when you put a post up, you have like 20 minutes for Facebook. Um, to notice whether or not you're getting any engagement. And if you don't, it's not going to go anywhere. Okay, no one's going to see it. People are going to ignore it. So you want to make sure that you're, you're putting um, engaging uh, content. Hey, Denise, thank you so much for jumping on, girl. Um, also, 
Uh, you know, I get distract distracted really easy. I don't know if it's because I'm old now. I don't know. <laughs> but I think I lost my train of thought. What was I saying? <laughs> so what I was saying was, yeah. All right. So you want to make sure that you max out your friends list and uh, make sure your profile picture is a picture of you. Make sure your cover photo can be, you know, your friends and fa family, you know, things that you love. So maybe talk about a nice uh, inspirational quote or a, um, something that indicates that you're in business. Um, you can really get professional with it. Um, but when you go out and network, once you have that set up, people are gonna people are going to be curious when you follow people or you friend people. And so um, my 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 advice to you is start following people that you think would be interested in what you have to offer and that you're interested in them because remember you want to work with people that you like. This is about you and your per and your ideal prospect and how you guys can gel together. Don't when I'm not talking about prospecting here, I'm talking about building your relationships and your friends. So I'm not talking about, you know, friending somebody and then going to their messenger and saying, "Oh, hey, yeah, um so what business are you in? Would you like to uh, see a business opportunity? I have products, they're awesome." Nothing like that at all. The first thing you want to do is, um, you know, go into groups that people that you think people uh, might be interested in your products and just, you know, follow people, listen to their conversation, be a fly on the wall, take notes of what people are complaining about or, you know, what they're doing if they're really positive because, you know, most you want really positive people in your on uh, in your friends list and then follow them. Instead of friending them all together, just start following them first check out their profile page, see where you guys have things in common, um, put them on the see first list. So it's a little see first and they get a little blue star and you'll be able to see their conversations first when you go down your feed and you can start having a conversation, liking their posts, engaging in their posts. Um, and that's something you wanna do, like uh, take an hour of your day and just start doing that before you start trying to market and build your business. Cause like I said, you don't wanna build on your profile page, at least not in that way. There's a roundabout way that you can go about um, building your business and pe getting people interested and piquing people's curiosity. Okay, so to wrap it up, you're going to optimize your um, Facebook profile platform, have a nice cover photo of you smiling, right? Some information that you are in business, you are an entrepreneur, and um, that, you know, you start going out and creating those contacts, getting those connections and meeting people. And you'll uh, once you start posting stuff on a regular basis, that's sort of positive, uplifting, you know, you're going to start getting noticed. Um, Facebook will actually start um, um, recommending you to other people once you start really getting your profile together and working up. They're going to start recommending you and people are going to start seeking you out. So we'll talk more about how that works, the kind of posts that you should be having in another um, live or another training. So I am going to jump up of here right now because I got a lot of work to do and uh, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, thanks for joining. Thank you, Denise. And thank you, Sheila. Thank you guys for joining me. Like I said, it, leave a comment. Don't be shy. Let me know where you're um, watching me from, and um, I will see you guys on the next video. All righty, bye-bye for now.